Hi, Starcy Blue, and I'm here with the walnut tree, and I just wanted to show you a few more identifying characteristics of the walnut um, that we didn't look at closely before. We have our leaves here. You can see these are what we call compound leaves. They have multiple leaflets. This is a leaflet on this whole leaf. And this is what we call a pinnate compound leaf. It has leaflets that are opposite each other on the stem, terminating with a leaf at the end. Okay, so that, this whole thing is a leaf right here. And then of course there's many leaves together. And then here on the ground, we have some walnuts. These are the green hulls, the nuts inside. These have fallen from the tree, so I assume they're ripe, but they have not turned black yet. They're very fragrant, and if you cut them and get the juice on your hands, it will turn it, them black orange for about three weeks, much like a henna stain. So if you don't mind having black orange hands and fingernails, then you can do it with your bare hands. Otherwise, you might want some gloves. And then right over here next to it, we have the black hulls, which you can see these have fallen and turned black. This one is still in the process. Black hulls. So these would be the ones you want to collect for the nuts inside. You can see the nuts hanging on the branches here, in between the leaves. To me, they're very masculine looking. Down there is an old dried up flower, which never matured into a fruit. They flower in the early spring, long catkins, and then in the summer they put on these walnut fruits, which fall from any time to about from now, which is August through September. You can collect those fruits for eating or medicine. Anyway, so that's some walnut botany. You can find out more about Walnut at my website, blueturtlebotanicals.com. Thanks, have a great day.